This is Dr. De Vries. He's a radiologist with almost 20 years of work experience. He currently has a patient, Hank, <coughs> who is 59 years old and may have lung cancer. Dr. De Vries wants to shed light on this suspicion. Before Dr. De Vries can do his work, his colleague Emma, a radiological technologist, has to make the images. Emma makes a scan of Hank's body using medical imaging technology. This gives her the possibility to gain insight into Hank's body and create imaging data for the diagnosis. Whilst Hank is in there, the scanner is taking 3D images of his body, slicing it into thin slices and… virtually, not literally. To make the evaluation of the scan possible, the scanner takes a picture every millimeter. Eventually, this can amount to 300 or more slices for a single examination. Dr. De Vries is an enthusiastic professional and is able to recognize and analyze every finding quite quickly and reliably. However, Emma is also a great professional of her field and during the entire day she scans a bunch of patients. A lot of images for one person to look through. This takes hours every day, but as we all know, concentration can decline quite quickly. In other words, it could happen that Dr. De Vries misses something because he is entering tunnel vision. Did you see the monkey? That's the point where artificial intelligence and machine learning could help out. Dame is one of those artificial intelligence systems. She is quite young. Together with her friend Noose, she loves detecting any kind of patterns and is impressively good at finding them. Sure, she has no degree in medicine and isn't able to make reliable diagnosis like Dr. De Vries does. But what she can help out with is looking through millions of images and watching out for suspicious patterns over and over and over again without getting tired… ever. Finally. Dame puts its findings in an overlay over the images. In this manner it becomes possible for Dr. De Vries to focus his concentration on the most relevant images. Dame is not just a program. She's able to learn from previous cases and findings. So perhaps one day Dame indeed gets her medical degree. But in the meantime she could be a very helpful assistant for experienced specialists like Dr. De Vries. Hank received some good news. He does not have lung cancer. However, Dame pointed Dr. De Vries to minor calcifications in Hank's arteries, so Hank must change his diet a bit. If you'd like to know more about the Dame project, visit the link appearing on screen right now. Thank you very much for listening and watching.